Good morning, guys. <sighs> yep. Another beautiful day here in Arizona. Got a little congestion going on here last week. So from last week, it's going away. Um, right back here. I got my brackets for my bed. So you can see the design, whatever. Going to put it together. It's all up here, the plan. So we'll see if it works. Um, <clears throat> I'm really happy so far. Products are in. We're going to get things going. It's going to be a beautiful day. And uh, it's going to warm up a little bit, but beautiful. Mid 80s. Mm. <sighs> Love Arizona. So we're going to get on uh, this project, take out my bed. I got to take the bottom part or the thin out the box spring, uh, use just the top layer of it. Anyway, for my bed frame, I also bought some uh, plywood, cut it at su in size so I can sandwich that together and then uh, we'll go from there. So sit back guys and you know it, enjoy the show. Took the top layer of my box spring, took off that four inch, five inch space, added the plywood underneath, and then I just, uh, just sandwiched that, make my base for uh, my mattress that's gonna hold, that's gonna connect to my rack. So keep on watching, there's right, more. Guys. Well, <clears throat> I messed up a little bit. See there? I installed that bracket over here. And then I forgot to press record. So I was cussing like a mountain. Mm. So I wasn't feeling like uh, recording. I reinstalled it up there. It's screwed into the metal bracket up top and into the wood also. So it's nice and solid. I'm gonna install this, install this bracket and I'm gonna filming. So keep on watching, sorry about that. guys I got the mechanism installed on the other side I'm gonna install the pulley system so uh, <clears throat> it's bracketed in my metal brackets up on the ceiling three self-tapping screws and then wood screws through the wood so yeah that should hold I hope and uh, we'll find out right and then I'm gonna put uh, Install it on the other side there the pulley system. I'll look at the Take a break here and then uh, look at the instructions and we'll go from there stick around. There's more All right guys 
ones were easier to install than those ones. I got three self-tapping screws into the metal bracket up top. Yes, I made sure that my screws weren't too long to go straight through. They're an inch long, so I got a little washer, plus the bracket makes it easy a quarter inch. So the wood, which is a quarter inch, so that's a half inch. So it screws only into a half inch into the metal bracket, fine. But that should hold the weight. So now on to the next portion. for four all right guys got my four brackets my ceiling brackets gonna connect the base of the bed <clears throat> I'm gonna do that tomorrow I got some cleaning up to do so stick with me guys there's more guys um i got the bed frame hooked on to uh base onto the cables all four of them you saw me do a couple i did a couple off camera because my phone was charging again my phone's dying like crazy so <clears throat> that's the lifting mechanism and it's on i'm gonna add the mattress on there eventually not right now and i got my roller brackets that came with brackets remember the barn door i said so this hangs with the barn door and it rolls the barn door across. Well, I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna hold on to the base of this and roll up just to hold it, avoid it from rocking back and forth. And it's also, when it's completely down, it's gonna hold the weight of this, not this. This will hold 300 pounds. The bed's gonna be 100, 120 pounds. So if I get on it, that thing's gonna collapse. It won't hold. So it's just gonna hold the bed. These cables are just holding the bed lifting it up, bringing it down. This is what's gonna hold the weight at the bottom. When I uh, bring it to the top, it's a locking mechanism. It's gonna lock it, it's gonna hold the weight. Bracket here is also gonna avoid it from rocking and it's gonna hold the weight when it's down. Now, at the bottom, I'm also gonna have a box here for storage underneath where it's gonna just come down and sit on the bed itself. At this end, I'm gonna have a folding table that can fold up eventually underneath. <clears throat> and if I need to, I'll put a couple braces to hold the bed at that end. Not sure yet how I'm gonna work that out. I'm gonna see how this holds up, how well this, this holds up onto my locking pins that I have also. So keep on watching guys. I'm gonna install these and then uh, we'll get it working.
All right, guys, um, two issues with my setup. Uh, this bracket right here is not strong enough to hold the weight of the bed. I'm gonna have to put a steel bracket all the way across, bolt these on, and then screw the bed onto that. Second, <clears throat> My pulley system, the way it's pulling up, it overlaps the, the this end is on the bar and the this end overlaps. Therefore add quarter inch every turn and when it gets up to about shoulder height, well it, it gradually goes up and it gets crooked. So I gotta find <clears throat> perfect middle for it when it pulls. I tried to adjust this end, but when it was completely down, it had too much slack and when it went back up, it just tangled up because there wasn't a proper tension or an equal tension on both cables. So I'm gonna have to think about that. It goes up and down fine. It just goes up crooked. I'm not happy with that. Cause right now it's where the it would be at this end. I'll uh, contemplate this overnight. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, bring in my mattress and uh, we'll see how it goes uh, from there. But yeah, I gotta get this uh, this this fixed because it ain't worked the way I want it. So I'll stick around, guys. There's more. All right, guys. I got my bed system uh, working, and uh, it is how it's gonna be. Now I'm gonna build my box, which is gonna be a bench, so I can sit on and hold stuff in storage. <sighs> And it's also when the bed is down, it's going to support the weight of the bed across. Because uh, I don't want it to hold just on that little lifting bracket, nor do I want it to hold completely on the cables uh, to hold my weight while I'm sleeping. So, to build a box, it's going to hold the weight at the same time, it's going to be storage. And then on the other side, we're going to build uh, a kick out. Uh, leg to hold the bed so that'll be the temporary setup until I can figure something out Give this a try. Right here, I can use a drill or a hand. 
we're going to use the drill. It makes a little bit of noise, but hey. I think I'm going to grease that. Count of three. Three, two, one, go! Uh, yeah. It's holding, guys, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, nice. I like it. I'm gonna have my head over here. And then, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have in my description the brackets I used for the runners, which is a barn door system, a, ha a hanging barn door. It's not holding any weight, it's just to guide it and to hold it so it doesn't swing back and forth. And then uh, I'm also gonna put this pulley system, which I had a bit of difficulty because it was it's designed for a 4x4 box to lift up and down. It's a space saver that you put in the garage. Holds up, it lifts up to 300 pounds. A mattress and a, the box spring is probably about 150, about I'd say. Now, it won't hold my weight at that. That's why I built the box underneath the support. So I'll have that in the description. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to start building my framing of my counter, my dresser, my cabinet right here in my next video. And uh, the box of storage and everything that's going to start molding the inside a little bit. Um, I got something going on for spring break. I will make a video on that so you guys stick around. And uh, until next time guys, I appreciate you. Keep on smiling. Ciao.